Hello guys and welcome to episode 5 of my 1.8 Minecraft Redstone tutorial series. So, over here I've set up a little something that we're going to be recreating today. This is a piston door. Now there's loads of different variations of these but this is probably the simplest one. I thought it'd be a good one to start off with. And basically what happens is I'm going to flick this lever and we're going to see the door open so we can walk through. If I flick the lever closed again, it's going to close. So look at this. It's re totally repeatable. Nice and compact. You can hide this behind a wall. If I just made this a bit bigger, look. Totally hideable. Like this. You can't see it at all, and it works. And it's like a secret entrance. Maybe you could put it behind a painting or something. Who knows? Anything. Okay, so first of all, we're going to want our building block. We're going to get a lever. We're going to get a little bit of redstone. Uh, we're going to get some sticky pistons. And we're going to need two of those. Uh, and possibly a repeater. I think we will... Oh, I haven't used any in this build, but we'll get a repeater to start with. Now you won't need many of these, this is quite a quite a cheap door to build so let's get on with it shall we? So first of all we're going to place our our uh, blocks that we want to get pulled back. Now from here I'm going to come along and I'm going to put a piston there and a block here and then on top of that block I'm going to put a piston there like this look. And then if we want we can delete this block but that's not very important for now and then let's build the shell around our door like this okay so these are the two blocks that are going to open if I put a redstone actually not, um, shall we do that? yeah I will show you guys so if I get a redstone torch and plonks a redstone torch down next to both of these you'll see that the uh, nothing changes but then once I delete these we can see that the door is going to open and that's the basis of how we build this thing so we want to fill in the gaps here there's going to be a gap here, a gap there, we'll start with that for now and let's put our lever down so let's get a lever, I think we'll put it here and we'll lob a lever down on that, like this. You can put this lever anywhere, as long as it's hooked up to a redstone signal, which I'm about to do. We can also hide this behind, like, a wall or something. Or we could even have the lever sort of maybe into the wall. I think we'll do that, actually. So, say our wall's coming out here. This is our wall. Maybe we want, like, a secret entrance, and we want to be able to flick this lever. You can always have a lever up here if you want to, like this. If you're going to do that, you're going to need to build a redstone bridge down here, like this. So you'll see that the redstone actually activates now, but we need to go down one more block. Okay. So if you're going to hide it behind the wall, then we'll do that way. But I think what we're going to do is just stick with the simple idea of having the lever on the ground floor and hiding it. So we've got the lever here, and what we're going to do is dig down one underneath here like this, place a block of redstone. That means when I turn this on, our redstone's going to turn on. So let's hollow out a little bit of a pathway around the back maybe, let's try and make this nice and compact um, let's say, I don't know, I want to come around this way like this and we're going to make this channel too deep here like this, okay, but we're going to keep this one one block under here then we're just going to fill this in with redstone like this and then what we'll do is we'll come up here uh, actually no, do we want to come up there? let's come up let's come up here okay so we're gonna come up 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 um, and then we can put a another block of wood here another block of wood there like this and we can come up and up again so now you can see our redstone piston has actually got power and if I was to turn this off now we can see the top one is working like this okay so now we just need to power the bottom one that means that I'm actually gonna dig a channel underneath our doorway, our doorway should be here if I'm guessing correctly, no, okay well this won't matter anyway uh, so what I'm going to do is just make a little pathway across here like this and we're going to find the piston which is there and let's come up one more like this, okay so now we're going to come up like this and we're going to put a block of wood, I don't know, we'll put a block of wood here like this, okay cool so let's come back underneath um, we're going to come down like this through here with redstone we're going to come up like that okay so now if we fly back around we'll be able to see our redstone here and we can bring this round on top of our piston like this so if we went and turn this on we can see that the, the um, this one's working but this one isn't this is probably because we need a repeater yeah we can see that the, re the uh, redstone signal runs out here so that's no problem. What we're going to do is come down here and in this straight passage here we're just going to lob down a repeater. We don't need to set this to a particular tick. We can just leave it on the narrowest like this and we'll see that this boosts the signal. And then if we fly up again we should see that both of the doors are closed. So if I open this 
bang, we can see that that's opened. And when we can always fill in the gaps here. Let's just make a little little thing like this. Like that. There we go, guys. So, if I wanted to make a lever on the other side, I'll show you how to do that. We're going to plonk down a lever here. Let's say we wanted, uh, we wanted to be able to access our doors from both sides. And let's go like this. So now we can see our doors have closed. We might need to just cover this up a little bit. And we can open this up again and walk through and then we can close it behind us like this so this is good this is a two-way door just just like a little secret passage maybe you're looking to have like a secret room on a multiplayer server or whatever you can cover this up with I don't know we can cover it up with a few walls you know you can make this nice and compact nothing too nothing too advanced for you and there we go so hope you enjoyed this episode guys hope you've uh, managed to uh, create this door if I've if you've been following this like a uh, like a follow along so you've built the exact same door as me or whatever whatever um, so there we go that's been episode 5 on our first redstone build and it was a 1x2 redstone door nice and compact nice and simple thanks for watching see you next time